hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this video I will show you how to make this resin beach scenery so let's get started this is the board I will be using it is approximately 10 inches I have primed it with three coats of primer I have already taped the edges as I don't want any drips on the sides all my colors are already mixed I will start by pouring some clear resin and then I will pour sand on top of it. I think this is a better way than making a paste. This way the sand will level up easily. Now I will pour the ocean colors. I will start from the darkest and then I will try to blend them together. By blending it will look more like an actual beach. The turquoise color I mixed is too light so I am just going to add more pigment to it. Oh god no, it's like half my turquoise powder fell in. Guys, never ever try to directly put the pigment powder into your resin. Always use a stick or something. Learn from my mistakes. I made the colors opaque as I do not want the white from the board to be visible. Now I'm just spreading the colors around. I did not pour too much resin as I don't want a lot of resin drips. I am now just blending the colors together so it gets the depth. I will just blow the bubbles now with the heat gun and torch. Make sure to not overheat your resin as it will burn the resin. Now I will just put the white where I want my waves to be and then push them forward with the heat gun. I want my waves to be thick so I'm just adding more white in. I think when making waves, right amount of heat is very important. In this one, I will be using both heat gun and heat torch because I'm still learning and I'm not there yet. While making waves, try not to keep the heat gun at one place for long as that would burn the resin. And I think getting that perfect lacing takes time and I'm still learning.
I think I'm happy with my lacing. I will just put some shells now on the sand. I want my waves to be thick so I'm just adding more white to the same waves. Adding some more waves and then I will let it cure and then we'll get started on the second layer. I will give you guys a closer look. I really like the waves and some lacing that I've got here. Okay guys, so the first layer has dried up. I'm putting some clear resin in and I will use my heat gun to pop the bubbles and heating the resin will make it easy to spread the resin around to cover my board. Popping some bubbles with the torch. I'm just putting white where I want my water lacing to be. I think my resin got burnt as I heated it too much so I will just remove some of it and add more resin to make my waves. I'm just putting white where I want my water lacing to be. Oh, I really like the lacing at the cells at the top. Just touching a little bit to get some more cells. I'm not happy with the wave here. I think I again overheated and it got burnt. So I'm just going to remove it and then add some more resin. When making waves, it's better to put some clear before putting the white in, this way white will not mix with the other colors. It will give pet lacing and it will be more prominent. Sometimes my heat gun is going out of the frame because I'm just trying to not get too close to the resin to burn it. Well, I still am burning it but just trying. I really like the cells here now. Now I will let it cure and then we'll move on. Okay guys, so layer 2 is dried up. And I have to admit, I did mess it up behind the camera, as you can see. So I will do another layer with ocean colors to fix it. In this layer, I will make them little transparent. This way, the waves from the previous layer are still visible and it will give good depth to the ocean. I'm doing the same thing as the first layer, pouring my colors, heating the resin to pop the bubbles and then just spread it around and blend the colors together. Now 
I'm just putting some white for the waves. Actually before that I'll just pop some bubbles. Now I will push the white with the heat gun to make waves. Just making the waves a little bit thicker by adding more white on the same waves will give a good effect. I'm not happy with my wave there and it looks kind of burnt so I'm just going to remove that and start again with some clear resin in white I really like how the piece is looking now. Just a close up of the third layer. Okay, so it's time for layer 4. I will put clear from here to the top and not on the sand area. I have already mixed my resin, just pouring it around. Just blowing the bubbles with the heat gun before I start making my waves. Putting the white for waves and just pushing it around. I think it burned again so just removing the white laying down some clear resin and then I will put white for the wave
think I will stop now and I will let it cure for a few days. Okay guys, so it's all done. I love how the piece has turned out. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time.